HP Roxon's bedroom, so full of Spongebob merchandise of... What's this? This isn't normal. What's going on? What's all the mess? Wow, it sure is messy up here. It feels like S.P. Roxon is moving away or something like that. Blimey, I wish it did. That would be awesome. So guys, what do you want to do today? Get away from you two. I'm pretty sure I filed a restraining order against you two. Where is it? Hey Patrick, didn't you think it was wrapping paper or something and then you ripped it up or something like that? Yes, yes I did. I still don't get how you thought it was wrapping paper and there was no present inside. You ripped up my restraining order? Calm down Squidward, it's just a worthless piece of paper. Just a worthless piece of paper? It's that worthless piece of paper that can allow me to have a happy life without you two dudes ruining it. Um, Squidward? What? Isn't this usually the part where you walk off in a bad mood and then fall off the bed like you usually do? I've taken precautionary measures and made sure I was nowhere near the edge of the bed so I can't fall off. <laughs> Look out! Ooh. Sorry, Squidward. I don't know what happened then. I guess I'll just go off somewhere elsewhere. Whoa, whoa. I am not lucky today. Okay, maybe if I just move over here, I'll be safe now. Ha, <laughs> ha. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Squidward. <laughs> How is that physically possible? You were running to Sponger a minute ago, and there's nothing good you could have possibly fallen off. <sighs> you know what? I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. <sighs> Typical. I can't believe I'll be going to university soon. To think, I'll be doing animation for a course. What an honour. But how can I finish Spongebob bits if I'm in university? I may be taking Patrick with me, but it's not like I can, I can fit every single toy into my bag. Oh well. I guess I'll have no choice but to cancel this series for a while, but I might do one fun episode, but it's not like anyone's actually going to care. Oh well, I'll just put this down for now and I'll go off. Ha ha ha, it's me, Plankton. With this new Chucky Finster costume I'm inside, Krabs won't recognise me, and he won't know I'm trying to steal the secret formula. <laughs> the secret formula's right over there. And if I can just sneak past crabs, I might be able to retrieve it. But believe me, I hope crabs doesn't find out I'm really plankton. He always launches me, and I hate being launched. It really hurts. It's working. It's working. Blimey. That guy gets dumber and dumber every day. I swear. No, where's that secret formula? I can finally smell the taste of victory. Plankton, how dare you try and steal my secret formula? <gasps> Krabs, how did you know it was me? You've been stuck in that costume for weeks. I saw you wearing it. Why did you take it off? Believe me, Krabs, if I could take it off, I would. I've been stuck in this costume for weeks. I can't find a zip to get out of it. <sighs> but at least this costume makes me taller. And you're trying to steal my secret formula again, aren't you? N -n 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 no, crabs, I can explain. I'm sure you can. OSB rocks, man. OSB rocks, man? Well, this is just great. How is he going to launch you if he's away? Well, technically, in this movie, He's already here, because his hands are controlling our movements right now. But we're supposed to believe that he's gone away as the audience aren't really supposed to know his hands are controlling our movements. Boy, that was a big fourth war break. Well, let's just hope his hand is in the mood for some launching. Huh? What? Hand? Launching? Oh yeah, right. No, please, oh, I beg you, don't launch me. It's too late for begging, Plankton. Karen, you've turned into an iPad. Oh, I thought I told the S. Roxon to keep his hands off my wife's screen. 
Look at how messy and dirty and greasy he is now. That's disgusting, Plankton, and you knew it. Well, maybe I should have reworded it a little bit. I've got some important news to tell you. Important news? Why? What's going on? SB Rock's man is going to university soon. So? What's so important about that? I'll finally get rid of that darn launcher. You know how many times he's launched me now? Shut up. But now we're in grave danger. What? But how? If SB Rock's man leaves, we may die. Gee, I guess I never really thought about that. So when exactly is he planning on moving to university? Very soon. You need to warn the other characters. Nah. This is an opportunity for the most evil of all evil plans. Thanks for the info, Karen. I'm going to my lab now. I wish I could just get my stupid costume off. Oh well. So, Sponge Puppets might be cancelled soon, eh? Well, just because I'm not an official SpongeBob merchandise, I've never been using any episodes really. And I'm sick of it. Now it's my chance to get my revenge on SpongeBob, Patrick, and everyone else who's made my life miserable. Say, so, Patrick, what can I do today? I don't know. I guess I could clean up this mess, but I hate cleaning. And strangely, it feels like a whole lives have been scripted into a movie. What do you mean? I mean, normally, we just improvise what we're going to say, but it feels like we're reading some kind of script. Scripted into a movie? <gasps> Patrick, do you want to make a movie of me? No, nah, we've already made a Merry Man and Barker Boy movie once. And you know yourself how hard making that movie was. Hmm, get paint. Look guys, I'm trying to take a nap here, and you guys are boring me. I'm leaving. Uh, ow! Typical. Just typical. Na 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 na. Hey guys, what you doing? Not much, Sandy. We can't figure out what to do today. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't we go to Goofy Cooper's ice cream party boat later today? Hey, where's Pet? I mean, where's Gary? Mow. Mow. Mow, mow. Well, at least we know he's not a secret agent. Or is he? Is he? No, he's not. Hmm, you're probably right. You know, I want to suspect the guy was a spy, but last time I did that, I almost killed myself, so I don't want to happen again. Wait, what to happen again? You were endeavouring when it happened, Patrick, so it's hard to explain. SpongeBob, boy, I've been looking all over for you. There you have it, Mr. Krabs. You ain't just entered this room, and the first place you looked was here, where SpongeBob was. You haven't been looking all over for him. Shut up. I'm a always back, Mr. Krabs. You know I'm on the bed like I usually am. Up. Never mind that, boy. This is very important. It's about Plankton. What's wrong, Mr. Krabs? I heard him talking to Karen about something. I couldn't exactly hear what it was, but I'm suspecting it's evil. And worst of all, he disguises Chucky from Rugrats. Why? He thought I wouldn't recognize him in the costume and now... <laughs> he can't get the costume off. He's been, it's been on him for weeks. Ow! Well anyway, we have to look out and find out what Plankton's got up, up his sleeve. But Mr. Krabs, Plankton doesn't wear any clothes, so how can he have anything up his sleeve? It's just a figured speech, boy. Never mind. Just keep your eyes peeled. Is that physically possible, Mr. Krabs? Are you joking with me, or were you just born stupid? I think he was born in the hospital, Mr. Krabs. Even I know that. Just keep your eyes off of Plankton. Just watch him, and see what he's up to. <sighs> oh. Ow, you landed on me, Mr. Krabs. I wonder if Mr. Krabs is right. What if Plankton really does have something evil up his sleeve? Well, what can we do about it when we know nothing about what he's up to? I guess in the meantime, We'll have to watch him 24 to 7, no matter how hard it is. 24 sevens? That's a... She means 24 hours, Patrick. Well, what about sleeping? I can't stay awake 24 hours. Fine, 
I watch him during the day, and you watch him during the night. Wait, I like sleeping during the night. Can we swap? I guess so. Just remember, monitor plankton at all times. Don't even look away for a second. What if I need to go potty? Then just get a tube and put up your trousers and... Say no more, I understand everything now. Blimey, with all this plankton stuff, I almost forgot about me marriage to Mrs Puff. What's that, Mr Krabs? Nothing bothering me, dear. I'm just excited about a wedding coming soon. Oh boy, me too. I can't wait. And I've invited all my friends. Oh gee, that's great. Well, see you soon. Oh great. I'm just not sure if I'm ready to get married. Maybe I should just change my mind and tell her now. But then, I love her so. What do I do? Oh, this is so confusing. What's wrong, Uncle Krabs? Oh, it's my eye calling love and nephew. Um, nothing's wrong. I'm fine. Trust me, I'm fine. Is this about your wedding to Mrs. Puff? <sighs> yes, yes, it is. Okay, you happy now? Well, you better make your mind up about your marriage soon. It's happening soon, remember? I know. Don't remind me. But the thing is, I love Mrs. Puff, but this is such a big commitment, and I'm not sure if I'm ready for it. Why did I propose? I need to think about it too soon. I didn't think about it enough. Oh, I'm so confused. Don't worry, Uncle Krabs. I know you'll think of the right thing to do eventually. Thank you, nephew. You cheers me with a little bit of this here, you say, friends. So, Mr. Krabs is having a wedding with Mr. Puff, eh? Maybe I can stop that. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Okay, this is Spongebob calling Patrick and Sandy. We're spying on Plankton. Do you see anything suspicious? Nothing to report here, except for the fact that Mr. Krabs is crying his eyes out. Must have something to do with Plankton. Okay, how about you, Sandy? I don't really see anything suspicious. <gasps> I see something, and it could be important. Wait, Sandy, what do you see? Dang get the lion's cut. Spongebob? Spongebob? <sighs> the lion's cut. Oh well, I guess I'll have to investigate this myself. It's iPad Karen. Uh, Effie Rocks must have been using her because she's got fingerprints all over her screen. This is suspicious. I better find out why it is. Wow. It's hard to share a picture of Spongebob on a wallpaper. Why the heck was S. Roxman looking at a university website? I browsed through his history, and I found a lot of university websites. There's something strange going on here. The pack bags. What is it? This is all manky suspicious. I better go tell SpongeBob it's right away. And so then, I said to the doctor, SpongeBob, I've got big news. What? What is it, Sandy? Well, I was browsing through the computer, and I found S.V. Roxman on some websites about universities. University? But only smart guys go there, and S.V. Roxman is not smart. Well, I still think something fishy is going on here. I do too. And Patrick sure smells fishy too. Hey, it's not my fault. I have fish fingers for lunch. And all these packed bags over here, these sure look suspicious too. <gasps> you don't mean? That's right, my little square boyfriend. S.B. Roxman is going to university soon. B -b 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 Wait a minute. He can't make the show and go to university at the same time. That's my point. I think we're getting cancelled. Well, if that's true, then I'm happy. And I think you'll know who's going to go with him to university. Who? Think about it. Who was he taken to? Florida, Nickelodeon Land, Mallorca, Tenerife, Devon, Chester and Liverpool. Santa Claus? No, Patrick. You. But I don't want to go to university on my own. All those wedgies for laughing at. 
I struggling to get a girlfriend, well, I still have Sophia, but this is also scary. I'll be the only starfish there, and I mean, of course, I miss you guys too, but still, I'm scared. And I hate this new Rocksman. Why does it ever take me? Well, guys, maybe it isn't so bad. Maybe we can convince Eddie Ruxman to take all of us to university. But then, we're not making him look silly. But if Eddie Ruxman leaves, then you two will just become ordinary toys. You won't be able to talk, you won't be able to move, you'll just lie there dormant. Not exactly, Patrick. An old legend says for as long as the owner still believes his toys are alive, then they'll stay alive. However, if the owner stops believing, then the toys die. Ah, uh, yeah. So as long as Eddie Ruxman always believes in us, we will always live. They will always live here. <laughs> Not as long as I have anything to do about this. It's kind of strange how I'm right over here, right next to them, and they can't even hear me. And how am I going to get this stupid costume off? It's so annoying! Ugh. Oh well, back to my evil plan. Oh man, I guess I'm just not ready to get married yet. If there's a prize for what a judgement, I guess I've already won that. No girl is worth the aggravation. That's ancient history, been there, done that. Who do you think you're kidding? GVF and heaven, do you try and keep it hidden? Gramsci, we can see why. Oh no! We know how you feel, who do you feel? Kim No chance, no way, I would say no. I would say I'm in love I thought my heart had had this lesson It feels so good when you start out My head is screaming, get a grip, man Unless you're dying to cry your heart out And you think you're kidding? Jeez, you haven't heaven to Shut up! Are you still nervous about the wedding, Uncle Krabs? Yes. Yes, I am. Very much so. Well, just think of all the fun you're gonna have with her. You know, all the kids and stuff like that. Gee, is that supposed to help me feel better about it? I'm so nervous. And when is the wedding, Mr. Krabs? Tonight! Oh, did you get her a nice expensive ring? Wait. You're supposed to give rings? I thought that was just optional. Oh. Well, Uncle Krabs, tonight, when you see Mrs. Puff, you'll see how beautiful she is, and you'll forget you were ever nervous in the first place. Gee, I hope you're right, nephew. Oh, by the way, that was me singing in the background of that song. Did you like my singing voice? Huh? Did you? Did you? I bet you thought it was SpongeBob, didn't you? Huh? <laughs> did you? Did you? Did you? Yeah, I did actually. Good job. It's only a matter of time now. <laughs> Karen, I just thought of something totally evil. What is it? Well, I overheard Sandy say that they only will continue to be alive if Espy Ruxman still believes in them. I think I see where this is going. If I can use my new hypnotizer to hypnotize Espy Ruxman and to think of that only I am real, then, the other characters will die, and I will get to live on, and see all their crabby party secret formula, and get to go to university too. I need some education. Don't kill me. I'm your computer wife. Yeah, I know you're my computer wife, but you're also Aspie Roxon's iPad, so he's bound to take you to university too. some stuff about university on Karen the iPad. And since she's Plankton's wife, I think Plankton knows Essie Roxon's going to university and is planning to use it against it somehow. 
The squirrel girl might be right, but what can we do? I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna tell Mr. Krabs. That's what we're gonna do. But how are we gonna tell him if we don't know where he is? He's right up there. He's been up there all day, sobbing his head out. Mr. Krabs? Squidward, what are you doing here? Nothing. Just chilling. Killing. Well, anyway, Mr. Krabs, I've got big news. What, Lenny? Well, S.B. Waxman's going to university soon, and Plankton knows about it. Oh, I knew that lad was up to something suspicious. But what are we going to do? Not that I care, anyway. I guess we're going to have to find out what Plankton's evil plan is. And by the way, I mean you, SpongeBob. Me? Yes. Well, do you want to help Squidward? No. Keep me out of this. And so then, I said to the doctor, Hey, guess what? What, SpongeBob? Plankton's up to something, but we're going to have to find out what it is. I thought we were already doing that. Well, we've only found out partly what he's up to. We've got to find out the rest of his plan. Finally, I can use S.B. Watson's jump for my own evil deeds. Once he puts on his hat, he will think that only I am real, and but the rest are fake. So then, he will take me to university, and the rest will die. <laughs> I call it the hypnotizing hat. And now, to wait in silence. Oh, this is, looks like a nice hat. I think I'll try it on. Hmm. Suddenly I only think Plankton's real. Where is he? Oh, yeah, he's in here. Still can't get him out though. It's too bad these guys aren't real though. I wanted to take Patrick's university with me, but now I guess I can't, and I'll take Plankton instead. Oh well. It's more packing for me, uh, then I'll be off soon. Did you hear that? F.B. Roxman no longer believes in this, which means that once he leaves this room for our last time, we will cease to live. And he's taken Plankton to university with him. Do you know what this means? Do you? Do you? Um, Patrick, who are you talking to? Nobody. I just ask random questions when I get confused, and what does this mean anyway? And where did Ipo Touch come from? It means that Plankton must have done something to trick S.B. Roxman, and we've got to stop him before it's too late. So, um, I wonder how long it is until S. Watson has to get to university. Judging by the way he's packing, I'd say one hour. Then we've got somewhere to do. And I've got to stop him. I don't care if I die from it, as long as they die with me. Haha, <laughs> in just one hour, I'll be enjoying the life of a university student. <laughs> Hopefully this costume will fit in better. Uh-huh. Everything seems to be in order here. Mm-hmm. Did you guys see that peculiar hat he was wearing? Yeah. I've never seen him wear that before. Me neither. Well, maybe that hat has something to do with why F.B. Rockman believes Plankton's real and we're not. <sighs> You've got a good point there, Patrick. Maybe we just have to take the hat off. But S.B. Rockman's so tall, and we're so small. It would be impossible to get cut off with our height, unless we made him trip up. Yeah, if he trips over, his hat will likely fall off his head. Yeah, and I like the idea of Rescue Roxon falling over and having pain and misery. <laughs> yeah, I like this idea. Let's do it. Okay, then it's all settled. Patrick, are you ready? I'm not sure I like this plan very much, really. So, every once in a while, walk in here, jump over Patrick, and then when he lands on the bed, the hat will fly off him. That's right. Unless I put it back on his head. Huh? Who are you? Trust you to ask that. No one knows who I am. I've been ignored all these years, so I'm getting my revenge on you right now. What do you mean? I've been lying down in this room for all these years. I've only been in using your show about once or twice. And I've never even talked to anything like that. I've always been ignored. So now, if I die, you're gonna die with me. <laughs> Looks like I've got a little friend. Shut up, Plankton. I'm nobody's friend. The only person I like is me, 
So, you've been feeling abandoned and lonely all these years? Yeah. No one ever wanted to talk to me or anything like that. But Eddie Ruxman spent six weeks making you himself. <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, after that, he threw me aside in his room. But wait, he never threw you away or anything like that. He always kept you. Yeah, just so I could be part of his dumb collection. Oh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but he only kept you in his collection because he was proud of you. He liked what you become. And how well you looked after he made you. Yeah, but he still never used me. He always used you. You were always in his room, and you know that. Well, I guess so. And is it really fair to take your anger out and all these other toys? I guess not. Hey, I hate Eddie Luxman, but still, I always am loyal to him still. <laughs> yeah. I guess I would like to see Eddie Luxman trip up. <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah, Patrick. I bet you'd like to see that, wouldn't you? Patrick? Patrick? Where'd he go? Ha ha ha. I've kidnapped Patrick. And now, he can't trip up Eddie Luxman if I've taken him away from you. Oh no! What are we gonna do? It will be impossible to get up there! And Eddie Luxman will be up here any minute now! To pack away Plankton and take him to university. I'm leaving us for dead. Well, Sandy, do you want to say your final goodbyes right now? Sure, SpongeBob. I just want to say that after all these years, I love you very much. And Sandy, I loved you ever since I first met you. And I have always loved Mrs. Puff. I know, I really. I don't want to eat a wedding, but now I can't. I just want to say that, even though I said I hate you all, I really like you all secretly. And you guys are my best friends. I know we're gonna die. <laughs> this is it. Our final goodbye. Oh, hug me, Sandy. I will, SpongeBob. I love you so much. Well, time to get Plankton and take him to university with me. Ha <laughs> ha Yes! Yes! But not until I've... Hey, my hat fell off. Hey, wait a minute. I don't want to take Plankton's university. I want to take Patrick. And I do believe in all these guys, really. Did you hear that, my love? We do get happy ever after. Wow. Even I'm really happy. <laughs> well, I guess I'll let Patrick say his final goodbyes to the other characters for a while. So guys, um, this is it. This is our final goodbye. For a while, yeah. But Patrick, take good care of Eddie Luxman. He's a good kid. And don't go chasing any girls there, okay? Okay. After all, I have Sophia. And Patrick? Even though I think you're a barnacle head, you're a pretty nice guy. You will be very dearly missing about Patrick, but you're very lucky really. You get to see Matthew Axman. And Spongebob, this isn't like my rotate videos. They'll be gone for a really long time. <gasps> Don't worry Patrick, we'll see each other again. I know we will. Just... Just... <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. I promise that I'll write to you every single week. And I'll write to you every single week too. Now go. I don't want to see you. I don't want you seeing me crying, Patrick. I just don't. Go. Go and enjoy your university life. I'll miss you a lot. Well, goodbye everybody. I've got to go now. This box is picking me up. Goodbye, guys. It's off to university for me. Hmm. Oh, Patrick. <laughs> well, it's been like this gun now to university. Yeah, and 
Wait a minute. My wedding starts right now. I gotta go. And so do you, Mr. Claps. Promise to love Mrs. Boss forever and ever 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 and ever. I do. Ah, Mrs. Boss. Same question to you, please. I do. Vampire power invested me. I now pronounce you the man of wine. You may kiss the bride. I am so happy. Yay, okay, Claps. So, SpongeBob, when do you think we'll get married? Maybe next week, Sandy. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Puff, I love you so much. And I love you too, Mr. Krabs. You know, I still remember our first date at McDonald's in September last year. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember that. Hey, SpongeBob, check out this email Patrick sent to you on his iPad. Dear SpongeBob, University is ruined. I can't wait to tell you all about it. For Patrick. Wow, it sounds like you're having a great time at university. Huh.